Um, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you a workaround with Easel. Easel is a great quick program um, as a uh, as a CNC design interpreter, but it's not the best CAD program. Um, one of the problems that I have, and I'm sure that there's a way to do it, I just am not familiar with it yet, is if I draw a circle and I draw a square, okay, and um, I put these two together, there's no way for me really to delete these lines that I know of. And um, I guess you could probably, uh, see it doesn't even have a break, okay? So I can remove a selected, but I can't remove the individual line. So that that's a problem when you're when you're trying to design something freehand on easel. Um, if somebody knows the workaround, go ahead and post it because I'd like to know. Um, most programs have a break where you can say break this and it'll break each individual line. I would like to see easel do that. Um, they need more tools in their design. Um, that being said, it's not a bad program and there's a lot of reasons why. You can literally design your whatever you want to make on MS Paint and then uh, you you need an SVG to, or a JPEG to SVG converter but anything anything you can draw on you can get into easel and I'll do a video on that later but if we wanted to make something like my kids are asking for a slingshot I can go to apps and this is what's so great about um, easel is it has these apps that are really 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 good and I go to image trace okay and what I want to look for I'm gonna to go to upload file and then I want to go to uh, I'm just gonna search web images and I'm gonna say sling shot drawing and I'm gonna hit search and it says nothing it doesn't see anything because I spelled slingshot wrong so if I put it as one word I come back through and I look at my images and here's a drawing and this is somebody else's work but I'm just gonna use it for this example so there is a slingshot okay and I can adjust the smoothing like I can ad this will take out the little fine lines and smooth the cut out. Um, we're we'll go all the way to one. So that's smoothed out, and threshold controls the darkness of the line, the thickness of the line. If I go to two, you'll see it's just the outline. Uh, I want everything connected, so I'll go to nine. Not quite. There we go. So everything is connected there. And I'm going to I just want to trace it. Let's see. So there's the there's the traced version. Um I think I'll just stick with the uh the hard line. Now I'm going to import it. So this is the drawing that I'm using. And there's some things that need to be cleaned up, but um I think it sees yeah, it sees that line. It's incorporating it as part of the drawing. So I can delete that. I can delete that. And I think that's about as good as I need to worry about. So there's my slingshot. Now, <clears throat> what I need to do now is I need to determine how deep my material is. So. I can go to my cut and I can say I'm going to be using um, half inch material. So 0.5, it's going to go all the way through. Um, I want it to start right here. I can edit where it's going to go to. I can pull, I can drag. I don't need to do any of that. Let's go back to cut. So now I would go to machine. And let's see. It's good. Well, I don't have machine connected on this one, but um, if I did, I would go to carve. Again, I don't have the easel, so it knows that my material is half inch. If you were connected to the machine, it would actually take you through the steps. But it's just that easy to actually design something. So now I have this design, and I want to add a couple of holes. So I, I'll select a circle. And I'm going to scroll, I'm going to just take this down. And you really just eyeball it with easel. And then I want to uh, copy, and I'm going to drag this to here. OK. 
kind of want it up there. And then this hole I need to go all the way. Okay. And then I want to do another one, so I'll hit paste. And I'm going to take this one up kind of the same area. And we'll go all the way to half inch. And there's my tie pieces. And I'm going to do one more. Um, actually, I'll probably do two more because if um, if I want to wrap this with a handle, I need uh, I need place to tie the string off. So we'll take this all the way through. So there's our slingshot. There it's designed. We could, um, I wish I could select that, but I can't. So the, we could um, we could cut this just like it is right now, and it would cut out a wonderful little slingshot. So that's what's really cool about easel, is you do not have to have strong CAD skills. Um, you can sketch it on a piece of paper, scan it, and take it to a uh, converter, and there's your, your software. There's your drawing. That's that's the advantage to easel. I, I hear a lot of people, I show them easel, and they're like, oh, the design part sucks. Well, it's not designed to do that. It's designed to be an interpreter with very, very mild design skills. And um, like I said, so it's a great thing if you... Uh, if you don't want to buy expensive CAD software or you just want to whip something out, you can you can just sketch it and bring it in. Import your design. There's other ways to import your design, but this is this is pretty much my favorite. Um, that app is just amazing um, because you're given all these options when you upload your file. You can pull it off your computer. You can pull it off of Facebook, which I've never used. Um, I, I'm not even sure how that one works. Google Drive, if you have it on a drive. Instagram, web images, you can pull it from a website. Or you can even take a picture. That's pretty cool. So, just so you know, like I said, this is a great workaround and an easy way to get your product onto a machine. So, anyway. That is the end of the video, and... Uh, I might be editing some cut pieces in, but uh, please subscribe to my channel. Now I'm going to uh, actually cut out the uh, slingshot. I've set it up on uh, easel, and here we go. And there you have it. There is a finished slingshot. This one's a little thin, so I think I'll enlarge it and cut it again. But uh, you get the idea. That's just how easy it is to go from drawing to program to cut piece. This took about 30 minutes.